I don't think anyone's ever taken that recipe. This doesn't really taste like beef. Oh, it's really good chicken. Look at this beast. This burger looks a bit intimidating. The only thing that is intimidated is my stomach. All right, today we are trying out the famous Mambos. This is like the Peruvian McDonald's, right across the street from the American McDonald's. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna try some food because people say that Bambos is actually better than McDonald's. I don't know about that because the mighty McDonald's rules the world. Let's go check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. spilled all over the table. Tastes like a regular Coca-Cola fountain soda, like from anywhere. Before we get in on these burgers, I'm gonna try these fries out. Cause like everyone knows, whether it's Burger King, McDonald's, Bambos, any sort of fast food joint with french fries, they go cold quick. And they're already kind of cold. So let's try them out here with some of the sauce. It is pretty good. Got a little kick to it, a little bit of heat. I see there's a seed in mine. Looks like a mustard, but it's not a mustard. Definitely some sort of spicy sauce. Might be the ahi bembo sauce. Definitely really good with the french fries. French fries though, they're about average. They're not that great. Mine are a little undercooked. It's just good to go along with the meal, I guess. Nothing better, nothing special. I will say McDonald's has to win for the french fries. I don't think anyone's ever taken that recipe. Ever gonna make french fries really better than them. Of course, for this style, being thin and quick. In burger number one, we have the Bambos Churrita Burger. For burger number two, we got the classic Bambos Burger with cheese. And for burger number three, we got the Tartare de Bambroster Crispy Chicken Burger. I'm gonna try the classic cheeseburger and see how it compares to a classic cheeseburger at McDonald's. Well, first off, the patty. It's a little thicker. It doesn't really taste like beef. That bimbo mayonnaise stuff is really good. Nice and juicy. The bun is like super like soft and chewy, which I love. And I like that they're sesame seeds. And I know McDonald's does not have sesame seeds on their bun, so that's a plus. All around a good burger. So starting off first is this tartare burger. We have a fried chicken patty with some french fries in the top, some tartar sauce, some lettuce. Looks very good. It's still warm after 10 minutes, which is great. This is a signature burger here at Bambos, so let's give this a try. Mm. That chicken is really good. First off, this chicken is deep fried really well. You get that oily taste. It has a crispiest crispiness to it in the center. The chicken is definitely perfectly done. It's chewable, it's not too tough, not too hard. The french fries, they're pretty interesting though because they're the potato wedge french fries and usually these have a, a crispiness to them sometimes, but they're not really crispy. They're more on the soft side because they're inside the burger, so I think the steam kind of loosened them up, softened them up, and it goes well on top of the chicken with this little tartar sauce. Wow, that chicken is just phenomenal. It still has all the moisture inside of it. When you bite into it, you get that like wet texture. Just perfect. And there's a little bit of spice on it. It tastes like some pepper, a little bit of salt. Maybe it's on the french fries or it's on the bun or something, but it's pretty good. And this bun is really soft. The bottom is a little, a little thin, definitely. So the one thing that I'm actually impressed with by this burger is that the tartar sauce that's on here it's not too strong. Usually, tartar sauce for me is a little bit strong, but for here, it's pretty light. All right, last bite of the tartar deep-fried chicken burger with the 
potato wedge french fries on it. This chain of restaurants claims to be around since 1988. Okay, last cold fry down. Here we go. All right. To be honest, I didn't want two burgers. But this one looked so tempting that I figured I would give it a go. Look at this beast. We got a bottom bun, some hiding tomatoes. We have a very thin Angus beef patty. Have some bacon, very flat. We have some potato chips. And then on top, we have more tartar sauce. Oh, maybe it's mayonnaise with chives or something. This burger looks a bit intimidating, but I'm not intimidated. The only thing that is intimidated is my stomach because I'm already getting full. So the style of this burger with the bun actually does remind me of the burgers from Burger King, like a Whopper. All right, cheers. Salud. Let's give this a go. Mm. All right, first bite. Not very impressive. Burger has some moisture in it. Not super overcooked, but it's definitely cooked pretty well. The bacon, on the other hand, I don't know. I like my bacon crispy. This is very not so crispy, very flat, very flexible, and pulley. I don't know. It's a little bit salty for my liking. That's because of the beef and the bacon together. It's giving it like an extra salt taste. Also, the chips inside of it is very strange because you bite in, you get a real crunch, crunchy taste. When I was a kid, I used to put french fries in my burger. It wasn't like this. The fries were a little bit soggy usually when you put them inside and you get a, just a potato-y taste. With these, you get like a real crunch, like a potato chip crunch. So it's interesting. So this burger, they definitely loaded it up on that mayonnaise, tartar sauce, whichever sauce it really is. Uh, it's a little heavy for me. I think what we need to do is we need to put some of this special sauce on there. This ahi, this bambo, this whatever sauce it be. If it comes out, I'm having trouble here. I just dip it on the corners, I guess. This is how we're gonna do it. Sure. Now let's give it a, give it a go with the sauce on it. Tastes a little bit better because it got that spice in there. Kind of settles down that mayonnaise, tartar sauce taste, not as overwhelming. These patties, they do look very thin, but they're actually pretty big. They're very wide, very round. But look, this is the bacon. It is just a little bit undercooked for me. I feel like I'm eating deli ham. I need my bacon a little bit more crispy, so the bacon's not gonna really do it for me. All right, <clears throat> I think I'm done with this burger. I don't want any more of it. It's not really that appetizing to me. I prefer the chicken burger, so I'm gonna put that down. All right, we're gonna finish up the Coke here and maybe a few things that are left, and then we're gonna head out to the street, kind of walk this off, and we'll give you a final review of what we thought about these burgers, the food we ordered, bambos in general, and maybe how it compares to infamous McDonald's. So we'll see you outside. So my review on my burger, it was good. After a couple bites, um, I decided to put that spicy ahi sauce on it and it made it 10 times better. So good, really recommend doing that. Some final thoughts about the place. Really good place actually uh, to enjoy some cheap burgers. Relatively affordable for I think anyone's budget. You can bring your kids there, you can go with friends. It's a good environment. The variety of food is pretty wide. You can choose from many different burgers, you can have desserts and everything. It's definitely a recommended place here in Peru. Overall, I would say that our burgers, oh, they were pretty good. Our experience was interesting and it didn't break the bank at all. So let's give these burgers a final thought and some ratings. If you were to rate your burger like 1 to 10, what would you give it? Or 0 to 10? Zero. Um, I would give it like a six and a half, seven. Like it was good, but it like didn't blow my mind. So I feel like I gave a pretty unfair rating because that was the rating that, you know, without the sauce. So with the sauce, I would give it an eight. For mine, we'll start with the chicken one I had. It was actually pretty good. I do enjoy chicken burgers and it was a perfect size for myself. So I'm gonna hit that with a nine. I think that's a solid nine out of 10. 
everything was pretty much to perfection. The chicken was great. The potato wedge fries were also great. So I definitely approve on that. And then the last burger I had was the churita. The churita, ugh. It actually didn't meet my expectations like I wanted it to. That burger was okay, the meat was decent. I didn't really like the bacon as it was kind of undercooked and flat. And the chips on it were all right, they're just some basic chips. And then the sauce was a little too overpowering for me. But hey, it is what it is. I just wanted to try it because it looked a little intimidating. But overall, that burger, mm, I'm gonna give it a five and a half. I didn't really like it. And that's my personal opinion. Maybe you will like it. So you should try it out if you go there. In the end, I don't know if I would say it's better than McDonald's. McDonald's is a king in the burger world when it comes to fast food and being uh, relatively, mm, not cheap, but quick and convenient. So that's a tough decision. I wanna say yes, but at the same time, I cannot say that it is better than McDonald's because I didn't try everything. I've tried more at McDonald's and I've tried at Bambos, of course. If you've been to Bambos, you've been to McDonald's, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Which one is better? Which one do you prefer? Which one better suits the budget? I would like to know. All right, now you wanna know about the price and how much we paid for all that food. Three burgers, one medium fry, one really small fry, and two medium Coca-Colas. First, the Classica with queso. That was 20.90 soles which is $5.48 for that combo meal. Second, my tartar burger, which was a combo too, but it was regular. It was 13.90 soles, $3.65. Third was the churita burger. It was just a burger. I didn't get the combo meal because I wasn't gonna eat two combos. I am not prepared for that at all. For one churita burger, it was 15.90 soles, which comes to $4.17, bringing the grand total to 50.70 soles, which is a total of $13.30. Now that's pretty affordable if you ask me. It is definitely a budget restaurant, a budget place to eat here in Lima and in Peru in total. But as you can tell, the Tartar Burger, which was a combo, was actually cheaper then the churita burger and it was better in my opinion so that's a bang for your buck well that's going to be it for our burger experience there at bambos here in lima peru now i do want to shout out my friend eric he did turn me on to that place and it was a good recommendation i enjoyed it and maybe i will be back before i leave peru to have some local burgers again it is dark the sun is setting over here it's very red and that's gonna be it for today's video here from Lima, Peru. Until next time, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. I love that kind of bun. Oh, that's an interesting potato. And I'm not too much of a fan as it. Bleh, 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 bleh. I think I spit on you guys. But overall with this chicken burger so far, What is this? Get back in there. What are you doing? You stay inside there. We got a bottom bun. We got some hiding to... No, don't eat me. Definitely need to wash this down with some Coca-Cola. But for one churrito, churrito, no, churita, feminine. Oh, really need to go walk off these burgers. I feel super sized. Hee <laughs> hee.